Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. When $10,000 in blood money isn't enough, make it 100000 Vengeance is mine. AKA a hundred thousand dollars for a killing. Making a killing, man! This is the 1966 Spaghetti Western from director Giovanni Fago. It was written by Ernesto Gastaldi, who wrote 1974's Almost Human, and based on a story by Sergio Martino, who wrote and directed films such as 2019 After the Fall of New York and Hands of Steel. This is also the second movie in the Blood Money for Classic Westerns box set from Arrow Video. The plot! A bounty hunter, on his way to acquire a reward discovers that not only is his mother dead, but that she wanted him and his stepbrother to reconcile. It's just too bad that his step-sibling has a bounty of his own on his head. And is now a man with brown hair and a face like a rat. It's not, he's not really a rat. I mean, it's just a line from the movie. I mean... <laughs> Don't quote me! Can the two get along? Eh? This was a powerful and hard-hitting Italian western. The one that tries its hand at sibling rivalry, and is all the better for it. With the opening shots of our hero riding through the desert, with mournful horns playing in the background, the film quickly establishes just what it sets out to do. Under the scorching sun, it was inevitable that it would catch up with them eventually. The film was shot in Spain mostly, but it does have some scenes from Italy, namely on a stage there. Certain scenes give an elegant look of our main character, namely during flashbacks. We get him and his family on the beach with roaring waves and engaging games. <laughs> They also live in a nice house on a grassy plain with a bit of woods further out. We know that our hero lost everything because of his sibling. It's shown just how villainous the jealous brother is when he's not good at a game that he plays with his brother who is really good at. Then the moment where he finds out that his brother is not of the same bloodline, he loses his shit and frames him for murder. It's all done in one scene and it's glorious. Don't you go after him! I'm your only son! Stop! For the characters, we have Johnny Forrest, played by Gianni Garco. He was Sartana. As well as in $10,000 Blood Money, which is my previous review, and Monster Shark. He is our hero who, after dispatching of a group of baddies for money, finds out his own half-brother has a price on his head. However, that little tidbit barely plays a part in the film. Instead, their mother dies, and she makes him promise him that they would finally get along. All the while, the sibling is with a game. Who are going around and stealing and eluding. Makes the bounty subplot kind of pointless. Why not just have it be about the mother grieving that she wants her two children to get along after she dies? I guess some people are just unfortunate. Clint Forrest, played by Claudio Camasso. Camasso, I had discussed further about in my $10,000 blood money review, is a scheming bastard. He not only retrieves his game, but his family and stepbrother. He is a total mess. With the news of his mother's passing reaching his ears, he is stricken with grief. Both Garko and Kamaso give excellent performances. I honestly didn't expect what we got by the end. Anne, played by Claudie Lang, and her little boy are all that Johnny has left in the He's still grieving his past, though not only did he lose his home and family, but the original love of his life. She is shown in flashbacks, then she kind of disappears on the beach, 
Did she drown? Did she get killed and then thrown in the ocean? I don't get it. Did she commit suicide after the incident between Johnny and Clint? It's never made clear. Artsy for the sake of craftsmanship. There are plenty of other characters that could be mentioned here, like the drunkard sheriff of a burnt-out town portrayed by Savio Bagal Bagalone, who is a charming, charismatic, really old-timer. A thousand dollars. Young Bill Roberts, I remember his poor pappy. He was only worth five hundred. I reckon that's what they mean by inflation. There's also a glorious cameo by Fernando Sancho, who plays the head of the gang of outlaws in the opening scene. Speaking of the coffin rock and opening scene, it sets up Johnny as a cool bounty hunter, but that quickly fizzles out. Throughout the film, much like the reward on his brother's head, this film is still a solid venture into sibling rivalry in the old west. But it does come with its own flaws. It has a bit too much fat in terms of desires and traits. The movie, unlike $10,000 Blood Money, doesn't overstay its welcome and knows how to end, but it comes across as too rushed and bloated in certain aspects. The gore, the effects, we get a bullet through the chin. That was pretty cool. A uh, busted leg. Some other dry stuff. It's not really about the gore in most of these flicks. The action is all right. A bit too spaced out. Even my dad was like, I'm bored. Still, when the bullets fly, the cowboys die. It's not a massacre per se, but there is still fun to be had. There's also nice camera work and framing that cannot be overlooked. The shot for the thumbnail for this video was actually comprised of three scenes, two of which I liked so much that I had to combine them somehow. Let me know what you think. I work hard on these thumbnails. The motion picture soundtrack Nora Orlandi is pulled over from $10,000 Blood Money. The senior composer brings the horn and piano organs to a whole other level in this movie. There's a certain section that gets the feels out of me every time. Damn stuff makes it tear up and all. It fits the movie wonderfully. Overall, why it falls into some trappings that are different from $10,000 blood money, it still falls into them. I would love to say that Vengeance is Mine is better paced and executed, but it's not. I find that the beauty in this film to be the strongest aspect. It doesn't overshadow the flaws, though, but it is enough to make you want to watch it again. It is of note, though, that the film has well-done camera work and has a sharp presentation courtesy of Arrow Films. Overall, I give Vengeance is Mine a 2.5 out of 5. I've been watching Shark Ghost Entertainment. I am Brian Gatto. Make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make new videos. Support me on Patreon. Even a couple of bucks a month, you throw a couple my way, it goes a long way. You can suggest other movies for me to review. And as always, subscribe. Yeah.